Hello everyone, it's your uh, neighborhood man scientist zebra talking to you. Uh, I where to start? Of course, the big news. What I'm here to talk about today is the cease and desist served to Jan Animations by Hasbro Studios. I've seen, listened to, and read many of the responses and the outpouring of support for Jan Animations. I think that's great. Support them in any way that you can right now. They could really use it. They certainly deserve it. One of the most talented fan animation studios I believe I have ever seen. I mean, they have the style, the animation dead on. The voice acting work is great. Don't Mind at Night, one of my very favorite videos, Buttons Adventures, was just hilarious to watch. But there are so many people out there right now that are just screaming and calling for Hasbro's heads. Copyright bullying. And the th there are a few things you need to understand. One is a lot of people don't even realize Jan Animations has made it so popular that a lot of people, the majority of people even, don't even realize that Button is not an OC. He is a creation of Hasbro. He was a background pony in their show. And when the public starts to identify with a character more with somebody else than with the original company, then in the eyes of the law, it can actually become the property of the other entity that brought it to prominence. But that's a little bit beside the point. The main point I'm trying to make here is something that I haven't seen anyone talk about and what no one even seems to realize. And that is the simple fact that big corporations like Hasbro, these really big companies, they hire legal firms to protect their intellectual properties. They hire these people. Their job is to go out and look for things that may violate or in, even endanger Hasbro's copyright, even if it doesn't violate it directly. And a lot of times, these firms act without – not only without the input from Hasbro – or whatever company to go after these people, a lot of times they don't even inform the company of what they are doing. They are a separate entity that is hired by the company to do this. They don't have to report directly to Hasbro. They don't have to tell Hasbro what they're doing. And as we've already seen on his Twitter, uh, the Hasbro Studios VP of Development, Mike Vogel, he's mentioned on his Twitter that he's going to be looking into this issue personally. This is a red flag. This is a warning. This tells you that Hasbro doesn't know this is going on. I'll let that sink in for a minute. Hasbro may very well not even know that these takedowns are happening, that these cease and desist orders are taking place. Now, admittedly, some of them perhaps deserved. I don't have anything against R34 myself, but I can see why they would be taken down because they do have potential to damage the value of Hasbro's intellectual property. Uh, the Fighting is Magic game, as much as I loved it, I thought it was awesome. It had the potential to damage the value of Hasbro's intellectual property. I mean, let's face it. This is a show marketed to little girls. And if you put out this game that shows the lead characters beating the tar out of each other, and someone sees it, they're going to think... Well, that may be in the show, and they would lose interest. However, something like Button's Adventures, it mimics the show so perfectly, both in its style 
and its substance that it wouldn't harm the value of the copyright itself. I think in that case it's more an issue of just the fact that it was a copyrighted character that most people didn't even know came from Hasbro. But again, neither here nor there. There is a very, very strong possibility, in fact a strong probability, that Hasbro doesn't even know this is happening. It's – their law firm has gone out there to protect their copyright essentially by any means necessary. This is what they're paid to do, so they are going to be vicious about it. They are going to go out there, and they are going to go after anything that draws their attention. Anything that gets big enough or goes viral and gets really popular is going to become a target. It's got nothing to do with Hasbro. It's got nothing to do with what the content is. It simply has to do with if it gets big enough that it draws the attention of the legal firm hired by Hasbro to protect their copyright, they are immediately going to be served with a cease and desist. And the only thing we can really do about it is somehow let Hasbro know what is going on let them know that these fan works that are becoming immensely popular are promoting their product they are free advertising essentially and make sure that they realize that you know this is important to their marketing also this is what is selling their fairly popular now adult merchandise line it's not just the show itself that's selling it it's the fan works and they need to realize this they need to know what's going on as for how exactly to do this um i'm afraid that's where i come up short hopefully someone out there knows what can be done I would say contact Hasbro directly, but I don't know how likely it would be to get through to anyone, and not to mention I know how hot-headed a lot of members of our fandom can get. It might not be that great of an idea to try to contact Hasbro directly. It could actually make the situation worse. If, I don't know, we could organize, maybe get a spokesman to talk to a Hasbro representative, or, again, contact... Mike Vogel, through his Twitter, uh, try to keep everyone informed through him. He seems to be willing to listen, and he seems to be looking into it. Um, but please don't just immediately throw all of the blame on Hasbro. I really don't think they're as much at fault here as most people seem to think they are. I think it's more a case of their legal team has gotten a bit overzealous and they need to be reined in. That's really all I have to say about the subject. Uh, I wish Jan Animations the best of luck in the future. I really hope this isn't the last we see of Buttons Adventures. I hope we get to see more eventually. Who knows, maybe this... It may even pan into actual work f with Hasbro for them. We don't know. But uh, until next time that I, uh, something so serious happens that I feel I have to comment on it. Uh, and if you've listened to me ramble on this long, thank you for listening. And I will talk to you again someday. Goodbye.